For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You're here at a day for racing, and yet we're not guaranteed life. Life is a vapor. Last few years at this track, you've had cars go into the stands. That may happen to you, and it may be your last day on this earth. Wait. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. And the Bible Wait. says also that there is an afterlife. There's only two afterlifes. You will die and go to heaven by Jesus Christ alone. Or you will die and go to hell because you rejected Jesus Christ. There's no middle ground. International Speedway. And it's good that some of these drivers are saved. International Speedway. International Speedway. But the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other way. When Jesus tells us, go into the world and preach the gospel, the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is life. Being good, going to church, being a Republican, being a NASCAR fan ain't going to get you to heaven. Good intentions, good thinkings won't get you before a holy and righteous God. Not when the Bible says about us, for all has sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when you come short of God, you don't make it at all. And Jesus Christ is that bridge over the shortness that will get you into eternal life. Thank you for your, your service. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. As you need tickets to get in to see a race, no ticket, no entry, no blood of Jesus Christ by faith, by you believing, no entrance into heaven. Wait. See, God doesn't care if you're a Baptist. God doesn't care if you're a Catholic. That doesn't do nothing. Wait. There's only one means and one way to get to God, and that's Jesus Christ. Wait. And without Jesus Christ, your eternal life after you die will be hell. And hell, like heaven, has no time frame. It's not that you get Wait. into hell, you get into heaven, oh, at one o'clock we can get out. There is no time. It's eternal. Wait. And that, some people will say, well, I'm good. Right. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. And just in case you want to fight God, right. the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. Speedway. Walk sign is on the cross. International Speedway. Being good does not get speedway. you into heaven. Being American doesn't get you into heaven. <laughs> Being born again by the blood of God through Jesus Christ will get you into heaven. Anything, everything, and anyone else will be a failure at your death. And you will die. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is no satisfaction of God except through God, and that is Jesus Christ. Wait. You're not.
not going to get into heaven by religion. You're not going to get into heaven except by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone, or there is no entrance into heaven. Wait. You'll be fine wanted. And when you are found wanting, wait. You'll be wanting to get into God's heaven. And you'll be at a loss. Wait. And Jesus came to seek that which is lost. If you have never put your Wait. faith and trust in Jesus, do it now. Now is the day of salvation. You may not have a tomorrow. You may not have the rest of this morning. Death comes. Wait. There were some NASCAR fans this morning that got up and will never see a race because they're in eternity. And they have gone to heaven by faith and belief in Jesus. And they have gone to hell by rejecting Jesus. Wait. There is no other way. There is no other mode. Wait. You can't hope yourself into heaven. You can't wish your way into heaven. Wait. Heaven is obtained by the faith and belief that Jesus Wait. Christ is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And yes, Wait. you and I are sinners. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when God says all have sinned, that's you and me. I myself put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ, April 25th, 1987. Wait. I had a guy yesterday tell me there is no God. After 34 years, you're going not going to tell me there is no God. I have seen the wonders of God. I have seen the miracles of God. I have the testimony of the salvation of Jesus Christ. If you don't know there's a God, you have no idea. You don't know Jesus. I tell you now, get to know Jesus. Get to know the one who can save your soul. God has set forth his standard. And his standard is in the Son. And the Son is the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Son is the way. And that there is no other way to God except through the Lord Jesus Christ. You pay for the tickets to get into the raceway. Jesus Christ paid with his blood for you to get into heaven. And don't believe that lie that everybody will go to heaven. That's a lie. Not everybody goes to heaven. Broad is the way that leads to destruction and many go there at. Straight is the gate that leadeth to life, and the few will go that way. And the straight is the gate, and the few is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, is the blessed hope. He is coming. We don't know when he's coming. We don't know when death is coming. We don't know if death will come before death, Jesus, or if Jesus may come back without the Christian dying. But death is not as sure as Jesus coming. 
And if you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus, you'll be found wanting. Wanting to get into heaven. And you won't be able to get into heaven. Because you rejected God's way. You rejected God's door. You rejected God's shepherd. You have rejected the water of life. And that is all in Jesus Christ. Now, if you don't want to believe in Jesus, you'll go to hell. And then you'll stand before the great white throne judgment. Wait. International speedway. And one day, you will declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Even in your rejection of Jesus, you will still declare that Jesus is the Lord in your rebellion. And you will be cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Because you have chosen to reject the love of God. And the love of God is Jesus Christ. That is it. Jesus Christ said himself, he is the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me are the words of Jesus. So when Jesus says he is the way, there is no other way. Your church membership, your church is is not going to get you into heaven. Your baptism will fail. And only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you able to enter into the gates called heaven. Not by what you have done, but by what Jesus Christ has done. And Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day. According to the scriptures. That is the way of hope. There is no hope in the Pope, only Jesus saves. Allah compares nothing to the Almighty God. Great. Religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God approved. Great. And if you have any notions to get to a place called heaven, Wait. you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ Wait. to be saved. International For only, only through Jesus are you able to please God. And without Jesus Christ, there is no pleasing the Father. <coughs> Be careful. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. You may not be good enough. Jesus Christ is the good. And you've got to be gooder than Jesus to be saved. If you're not gooder than Jesus, you're not good at all. When the Bible says there's none that doeth good. God says, be holy, for I am holy. God speaking. But you cannot be holy 
when the Bible says all have sinned. There is none righteous. And yet we have the righteousness of God. When you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what pleases God. One may say, well, preacher, I go to church. You're not in church right now. If church saves you, you're not in church. You fail. You're at a racing event. Wait. Why not just put your faith and trust in Jesus? He said, well, preacher, you're not in church either. No, I'm saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm here to tell you about Jesus. I'll be in church tonight, Lord willing. And if I either die, I'll be absent from this body and in heaven. Wait. And if you have not believed on Jesus Christ and you're given to, you will go and see a race. And eventually you will die. And you'll enter into hell. And the Daytona 500 Wait. in eternity will have no value at all. You know what's wrong with NASCAR? NASCAR keeps going left, 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 left. They never turn right. When NASCAR turns right, they get to an accident, they burn. But in life through Jesus Christ, you turn to Jesus and get right, there's no burning. International Speedway. But if you turn left against Jesus, you will crash and burn in the lake of fire forever. There is one way through Jesus Christ, and it's not left, 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 left. It's right, 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 right. By the one that said he is the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Yes, I'm preaching. But yes, my mouth is open to the testimony of Jesus Christ who saved my soul. I'm going on 34 years of salvation through Jesus and want nothing better than Jesus Christ. My only regret was I wish I'd done it sooner. Wait, wait. Wait. It took 18 years for a punk who sinned to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And yet today you are hearing that Jesus saves, you are hearing the gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. Wait. And that he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Reject the Lord Jesus Christ and you will go to hell. Hell is because you reject Jesus Christ. Heaven is because you have put your faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ alone without works. You can't wish your way into heaven. You can't think your way into heaven. You can't do good to get to heaven. You must. You must put your faith and trust and confess your sins to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Without the blood of Jesus Christ you are lost. And Jesus Christ came to seek that which is lost. 
Wait. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt International be saved. Speedway. Walk sign is on the cross. International Speedway. International there Speedway. is no other light than the light that's in Jesus. There is no other hope than the hope that's in Jesus. The door to heaven is through the door of Jesus Christ. Hell has a door, it opens up, it closes, and it'll never open to you again. There are no fire exits in hell. Stop, drop, and roll never works in hell. And you will get into hell because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Wait. And thou shalt be saved. Wait. You don't get into heaven because you're American. You don't get into heaven because you're Republican. You don't get into heaven because Wait. you're a NASCAR fan. You get into heaven through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. There is no hope in Wait. any other, any whatever. The blessed hope is in Jesus Christ. Donald Trump can't save you, only Jesus Christ will save your soul. By the precious blood of God, and God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. By your faith and belief in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, thou shalt be saved. The only stars and stripes are the stripes that was put upon Jesus Christ, for he suffered and died according to the scriptures Wait. and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that is the way to heaven that is the salvation being good is not good enough when the bible says there is none that doeth good well preacher there is no god and the bible says the fool has Wait. said in his heart that there is no god you're an atheist, God says you're a fool. And fools go to hell. Fools reject Jesus Christ. Fools think they're good enough. Fools think they're better than God. Fools think, hey, I'm just going to die. I'm never going to die. That's the mouth of a fool. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you want to be wise, Fear God and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Put away your pride and arrogance. Put away, oh, I'm afraid of American. That's not going to get you nowhere eternity. You're not going to find America, Washington, D.C., Republicans, and Democrats in heaven. You're going to find Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. God manifested in the flesh that suffered and died that we might have eternal life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no other way, there is no other hope but the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. You don't want God mad at you. Because if you die in God's anger, that's hell. You die under the blood of Jesus Christ, that's heaven. And you don't even have to die to be a Christian. One day the Lord Jesus Christ is going to descend and call his church home. One day. If you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus, you won't go. When Jesus comes calling, you won't go if you didn't put your faith in Jesus. Wait. Your outcome 
Your place of abode for eternity without Jesus is hell. Wait. All is not well, there is a hell. Put your faith and trust Wait. in Jesus Christ and be saved. Wait. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever Wait. believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. <coughs> there is a heaven, heavenly res reservation. It's called the Lamb's Book of Life. And you get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life by faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. For you that for you that came down here in Daytona Beach and checked into a hotel or a motel, you walked up to the desk and say, Hi, my name is such and such. I made reservations. They checked their computer, they checked their books and said, Yep, we got reservations for you. Heaven has a reservation book called the Land's Book of Life. And your name is put in that book by faith and belief in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Wait. You take your tickets to enter into a race. You take the blood of Jesus Christ to enter into heaven. is on the cross, International Speedway. Without the blood and faith in Jesus Christ, you'll be found without. You'll hear the words of Jesus himself. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. To be known by God is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Jesus is the only way, for he said he is the way. Purchase your tickets at heaven at Calvary through the blood of God that suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus. Not only the precious name of Jesus but the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of God, shed upon Calvary's cross, that you might believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Because without Jesus Christ, the eternal life will be without God. Without heaven, no hope. Hope is in the blessed hope. And that blessed hope is in God. And God is in Jesus Christ. Wishful thinkings ain't going to get you to heaven. Being good is not going to get you to heaven. Being a member of a church or a particular denomination or no denomination. You get to heaven by the faith and belief in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Wait. that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, Wait. but have everlasting life. If you want Wait. to get to heaven, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. 
That's what pleases God. Don't even dare think that here I am in church pleases God. It don't. Not all churches please God. Not all religions are God approved. Religion is man made. Jesus Christ is God approved. To enter into the gates of heaven is through the blood of God. And the blood of God is the blood of Jesus Christ shed on Calvary's mount upon the cross. He was made a curse for us. He was made to be sin for us who knew no sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And if he's not your Lord and he's not your Savior, God is not pleased with you. Because God is only pleased in His Son, not in you. You are a sinner, you are unrighteous. And you have need for the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And that God, when Thomas spoke to Jesus, my Lord, and my God, and the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That is how you get to heaven. Wait. And without Jesus Christ, Wait. You will stand in hell, the lake of fire. Wait. There are good people in hell. There are churchgoers in hell. Wait. There are NASCAR fans that are in hell. And they are Wait. in hell because they rejected God's gift. They are in hell because they rejected Wait. God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Do it now. You may not have later. Wouldn't it be quite interesting as you sit in the stands watching a race, and your favorite car ends up in the stands and puts you off into eternity? You know, the last two years have been cars crashing into the stands. Today may be your eternity. Now believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Life is like a vapor. And you don't know when that vapor will end. Before you die. And you don't know when you're going to die. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You're standing so close to the road of Florida. And as bad as the Florida drivers are, if you're standing so close to the street, now is the time to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. As bad as Florida drivers are, you could go quickly into eternity. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. God says, come now, let us reason together, that is you and, the, you and God.
let us wait reason together though your sins be as scarlet they shall be white as snow and the books were open wait and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire <clears throat> and the Bible describes the lake of fire as the second death. If you're not born twice, if you're not born again, you will die twice. Unless you put your faith and trust in Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is the way. He is the blessed hope. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man wait. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You see, God is sending out his people to preach the gospel that you might be saved. God is not willing that any should perish. It is not, it is not God that casts you into hell. It is you that goes to hell because you won't trust in Jesus Christ. You will not call upon God to be saved. When the Bible says to believe on the blood of Jesus Christ, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I'll tell you the truth. Every dead person is a Bible believer. Atheists who have died are Bible believers and they believe in Jesus. Too late. Churchgoers die and go into hell without Jesus. It's too late. When you hear the words of a preacher sent by God, saved by God, that tells you to repent and to trust and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, and you die and go to hell, you're a fool. Fools end up in hell after the preaching of the gospel. When the preaching tells you what the Bible says, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. And when you reject God, God will reject you. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. There is no salvation without Jesus, only damnation. And you can come out of your condemnation to get salvation if you put your faith and trust, trust and obey in the finished work of Jesus. Because Jesus is the only way to heaven. The love of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Wait. 
and that everlasting life is in Jesus Christ. Wait. And without Jesus Christ, your eternal life will be hell. This is not hell. Right now, you can get yourself a bottle of water. But Jesus tells us that a man in hell would just desire a little drop of water. There's a nice breeze right now. And in hell's fire, there is no breeze. You can obtain mercy and grace of God. But there is no mercy, there is no grace in hell when you reject Jesus. To obtain God's mercy and grace after you die is to put your faith and trust now. You may not have later. Realize right now, in your body, could be a stroke about to happen. Something in your body could be working death right now. And you may die before they say, start your engine. And before they start their engine, you may start your life in eternity. And when you have put your faith and trust in Jesus, when you die, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. That's a great, wonderful blessing, miracle, merciful, eternal life in the faith and belief in Jesus to go to heaven. Or you can die, wake up in hell because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ while you're living and go to an unmerciful, ungracious place of torment. Because while you were living, you just heard the gospel, and you heard to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and he said, ah, something better than Jesus. Not now, I'll do it later. Wait. There may not be a later. Wait. Trust on you can trust on Jesus Christ right now. You can put your faith in Jesus and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ right now. You don't have to get saved in the church. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved. Repent to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Wait. And you don't have to be in a church. You can be saved today right now. Or you could die right now and wake up in hell forever because you have heard the preaching, you have heard the gospel, you have heard that Jesus saved, and you're like, well, not good enough for me. I'll do it later. And when you are rejected of God, because you have rejected Jesus Christ, who is God, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Are you one?
washed in the blood of Jesus. If we confess our sins, He, God, is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. No other man can cleanse if you if you confess to another man. You are confessing your sins to another sinner. That doesn't save you. That makes you more viler. That's adding sin upon sin. Wait. I can imagine what that sinner does under the disguise of religion. Wait. Why not come out of religion and come to Jesus Christ? and be saved. Why not put your faith and trust in Jesus? Wait. And be known of God. And to be written Wait. in the last book of life. When you turn to Jesus and be saved. Wait. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Wait. That may be someone's life right now dying. Wait. That may be you before the night comes. Wait. The wages of sin is death. You're not going to escape death. Wait. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you want to have God satisfied in you, the satisfaction of God is not you. It's Jesus Christ. It's never, ever about you. It's about the Son. Wait. It is not what you can do. It's what Jesus Christ done. Wait. And Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You're not okay if you never put your faith and trust in Jesus. Wait. It'd be too late to wake up in hell to think, I did it wrong. Wait. It'd be too late in hell to say, I wish I had. Wait. It's too late to wake up in the hell to know I believed in the wrong. Wait. You see, Satan, the devil, is great at deception. And the devil would have you to be deceived in thinking that you're okay. But you're never okay rejecting Jesus. It's not okay to tell God no. When the scriptures say to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. When God has sent forth his Son for you to trust and obey in the precious blood of the Lamb, Without, without spot. When God has an invitation to heaven for you. And that invitation into heaven is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Wait. 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 That's God's invitation. 
Calm now. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God is sending forth to you right now an invitation. Come. Come and believe on Jesus to come to heaven. Wait. Or reject Jesus and go to hell. And the choice is yours. God is not going to force you. God is not going to come down with Thor's hammer. God is not going to send you a lightning strip. Wait. God is not going to have cows dancing across the highway for you Wait. to get saved. Nope. God is going to send a loud mouth preacher to preach that Jesus Wait. alone saved. That loud mouth preacher is going to proclaim that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Wait. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me are the words of Jesus. Not my words, the words of Jesus. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the way to heaven. That is the only way to heaven. You're not good enough to get to heaven. When the Bible says that there is none good. In order to be good to get to heaven, you've got to be gooder than Jesus. And you're not gooder than Jesus. Wait. Hey guys, if you're missing anything for the race today, we got your box. Because the gooder of Jesus is the best of God. And that's not you. Being American does not get you into heaven, but the precious blood of Jesus. We'll get you into heaven. National Speedway. Lock sign is on the cross. International Speedway. International Speedway. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Save.